This is a quick review on how to factor to, um, to show that the area of the sum is equal to the area as the product of its sides. So here you have um, an, a set of algebra tiles um, making a rectangle. Let's first find the area as the sum of its parts. So area as sum of parts. And pretty much what that means is to add up all of these individual areas. So hard to add all of those areas. I have two x squares, right? I have two of those, so I'm right two x squared. And then x's I have one, two, three, four, five, six, plus six x, and I have four single ones, so plus four. So that's the area of some of its parts. Next, I'm going to find the area as a product of its sides. And to do that, um, I'm pretty much finding the area as length uh, times width. So here, I'm going to make this my width. So first, if you recall the dimensions of these algebra tiles, right? Like for this tile, uh, this tile has this length of one. That's the dimension of that tile. This is also one, and this is x. So this entire side, or the entire width, is two plus x. And the length, this is x. This is also x, and this is one and one. Um, if you're not familiar, familiar with the dimensions of algebra tiles, um, you can see me and I'll explain it to you. So I have two x's plus a two, right? Here are my two x's and then plus two. So there's my length, there's my width. So the area as a product of its sides, right? Product meaning multiplying, it's multiplying, and these are the two sides, the length and the width. So this becomes two plus x times two x plus two. Um, so both of these are measuring an area. And we're getting the area of the same rectangle. So I can write that both of these areas are equal. So this is showing that the area as the sum of its parts is equal to the area of the product of its sides. And that's the review for today.